Thanks for joining me. In today's video, we're looking at painting uh, gunmetal grey onto the hinds, the hind D's. So there's a few areas I'll just point out as we start painting them that um, I like to do gunmetal grey. You could use uh, German grey, any sort of dark colour for this, but um, today I'm going to use yeah, gunmetal grey. So here we go. I'll just move one back. So I just put a little bit of that paint under the palette. Um, normal tricks, a little bit of water will help with the painting. And the areas I look at are starting at the front with the machine gun or the can auto cannon. And googling hinds, you, you'll see different people painted different ways or different colour schemes from the helicopter in service and this is the exhaust ports so I'll just paint them the top of the gearbox here I'll also paint the rockets some different photos show different styles of painting for the rockets and different different way they're done but I'm just putting oh, it's casting a bit of a shadow sorry um, just putting a gunmetal grey across the rocket pods They're the main areas that I do. It just helps add a little bit of colour. And I'll do that same colour on this hind, the grey and white hind. Build. The models probably would have benefited from the red exhaust being white so you could paint that area and then it would really stand out. And Googling different images of the rocket pods, pods will show you different styles and techniques and colours that they had. There was, wasn't a lot of consistency with some of the rocket pods. And that's what I do for painting the gunmetal grey. Onto the hinds, 
under the rocket pods, the front machine guns and the exhaust outlets and a little bit on the tail gearbox, the rear gearboxes. Thanks for watching.